Welcome to the virtual Bible. It is another episode. We got myself, uh, Priest Kirk. We have Priest Andal Holder. And we have teacher Matthew Deepax Edwako uh, from the <laughs> London, England branch, part of the council there. Welcome to the virtual Bible. Now, right before we get right into the thick of things, <clears throat> the next slide, a uh, couple pointers that we always mention. One, get a King James Version of the Bible. You must, just so that we're on the same page. Second, get something to write notes, take notes so that you have a record of what we're talking about. Thirdly, contact the Israelite Nation Worldwide Ministries with what you've heard to either tell us that we're wrong <laughs> or say you're right or whatever it is. Reach out to us so we can get to you. All right. Uh, Israelite Nation Israelite dot nation, sorry, at Facebook, Israelite Nation at Twitter. You can get us on Twitter and send your email to questions at IsraeliteNation.com. The topic, gentlemen, today, heaven let me in. Heaven, I'll repeat, let me in. Hello, everyone. It's uh, Priest Daniel here. Great to, to be back in the, uh, the seat here on the virtual <laughs> Bible. Um, very interesting topic, I must say. Okay. Heaven let me in. And um, the people on this planet, uh -huh. uh, what we got, like about 6 billion plus? If uh -huh. you survey the vast majority of people on this planet, where they think they will end up if they do believe in life after death, if they do believe, you'll probably find the greater percentage of individuals saying that they're going to end up in heaven. Where? In heaven. In heaven. Right? As, so, opposed, as opposed to where? Hell. Okay. Okay? So, again, if you find people who believe in the principle of heaven or hell, and you survey that demographics, yes, sir. the vast majority of those people, I promise you this, okay. will say that they are going to heaven. This doesn't include also. This is, you know, I mean, in addition to that survey, you have... Uh, people who believe that even their pet dogs and cats may make it in there. That's very so, true. So, I mean, I'm just talking about human beings, but you know, in addition to that, if you survey them about their pets, their pets will also be making it into heaven. Uh, <laughs> so mankind, it, it, it does, it, it goes does. Way beyond and, that. and mankind from day yeah. number one, and I believe we're going through the book of Genesis, from day number one, mankind has always been in a pursuit to enter heaven, like the Tower of Babel. Yeah. Tower of Babel. Men were building a tower even to reach the heights, the heavens, even, to, yeah. even to get in there. Yeah. And that has not stopped. In 2012, as we do this show right now, the same concept has been there for, in men. How can we get to heaven? And, you know, I know, I know this is probably not part of the slides, but it's great discussion points. You know, I, I've talked to, to many people, uh, you know, co-workers and, and colleagues and friends and family members. A lot of them say um, some people are of the opinion that even the space stations and, and, and space ventures is man's way of thinking to get into the heavens again, building their home in that domain. You know, yeah. like, so yeah. it's, it's never... I, it's, I, I it's, actually share that because when you think about it, like the Tower of Babel you're talking yeah. about, right? Let's build, let's build something monumental so that we can stare God in the eyes, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, now we're not going to build bricks and ladders to climb into the sky. We, we fly in planes, Rockets. right? Rockets. Yeah. We're, yeah, yeah. We blast off. We send things, satellites. We're in space now. And it's why. You know, you think about it. Why, why is there a space station in the atmosphere? Why, why is it? What is it? What are they really trying to, you know, that's a very good question. A very good question. And the quest could be the continuation of that the Tower, Tower of Babel. It could yeah. be, yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to jump into the book of Genesis, chapter 2. And we're going to go from verses 1 to 4, pre-sandal, if uh, you want to pick it yeah, up abs for us. Absolutely, absolutely. And it says in Genesis, chapter 2, verse 1, Thus yes. the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. You know, I, so I, it immediately brings a question. And as we, we always labor, you know, these, these uh, issues because there's lots to talk about. 
Where was God? So it says here that he finished completing the heavens. Yeah. Where was he prior to that? Were the, were, was there a place called heaven prior to the first day? Good question. I would know, man. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm being honest. I would know. Uh, it's a very good question. Uh, he created the heavens, and then as we, we in the Israelite nation, Worldwide Ministries, I mean, we, we take a really deep dive into scriptures. Yeah. And we pray for the spirit of understanding. And we understand that there are different heavens from one to seven. Um, whether these were one, two, three, four, five, six that was created, and he always had seven. Possibly. Um, or he, he, you know, he's God and he could have been anywhere in any place at any yeah, time yeah, doing yeah. anything. Yeah. So That's very correct. good question. I mean, um, I but I wouldn't know the exact answer to that. But the key to it is that the heavens were created. Yeah. So there was a there was a place created and it was furnished Correct. thereafter, right? Okay. Verse three. Yep. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that he had rested from all his work which God had created and made. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created. In the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. So the point and the purpose to that scripture, uh, there is a creation date. There's a time period when the heavens were created. Yeah. So at one point, there may not have been a, a heaven, whereas you had said yeah. possibly the seventh heaven was there and then he created the other layers. Who knows? But the heavens as we know it, as we come to appreciate it, were created yes. at one point where it was not existing before that, right? All right. So continuing on, Genesis chapter 5. Genesis chapter 5, again, the King James Version of the Bible is what we, we read. So if you want to be in contact with us, do the same thing. If you have something else, try your best to keep along. All right, so uh, 21 to 24, I guess I'll go ahead and, and read into this one. And it gets interesting here. So I'll go from 20. And all the days of Jared were 962 years, and he died. And Enoch lived... Sixty and five years and begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah. Three hundred years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were three hundred and sixty-five years on the face of the earth he lived, Enoch. And 24 says, And Enoch walked with God and he was not, for God took him. So, gentlemen, I put that on the table because, as Priest Andal rightfully said, the quest of man is to approach the gates of heaven. That's the quest of man. And time has had it that they do all that they can. Everybody, there's songs that are made. I'm going to... Uh, what is it? I'm going to wear my boots all over God's heaven when I get to the heaven step. There's songs, there's movies yeah. about heavens, there's angels flying in the gates, and there's stories about St. Peter, St. Peter, right, and the, the keys and so on and so forth. So now, right here, it says in 24, And Enoch walked with God, for he was not, for God took him. Where did God take him? That's a good, very good question. Looking at this scripture, I see the guy, uh, Enoch, 365 years, mm -hmm. walked with God. So mm -hmm. let's try to at least start to define that, right? Walk with yes. God, in my opinion, looking at that, it yes. looks like he was right with God. Okay. He mm -hmm. walked in the path that God had laid down. He was with God. He wasn't against God. He was hand in hand so with physically, God's place. Physically, not, you know, holding hands, walking like a dad and Correct. a son. Correct. That's correct. Okay. 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 So, so let's define that. So, okay. the walking with God is is walking in the things that God said. This is what I like. Um, so it looks like he was a good boy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Looks like he was a good boy. Okay. And then God took him. So, then we got to define that, or at least have discussions around that. Yeah. Is the taking meaning his life was cut short? Yes. And he died, and then he was buried. Yeah. Um. Because that's the way that men go. Men, yeah, men yeah, die and yeah. are buried, and then the afterlife or the part two yeah. happens, and we really don't know too much what happens yeah. there, right? But right, he, yeah. What 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 happened? What took place? Yeah. Did he or did he 
you know, some people, and I, you know, I'm going to throw this, I'm going to throw this on the table, Matthew. Mm. All right. Some people say, in some some of these uh, theories, that a UFO came, and it it beamed up Enoch, and <laughs> it flew away. So is is it taking? Uh, seriously, is it taking a spaceship that came and took him and went to the the ancient planets where the ancient uh, the the forerunners of human civilizations live, right? Planet so these X are, these or are, Zeldon. Planet these, Zeldon. Yeah, you know, like the, these yeah. are the things that, that people toss around. What is Enoch was taken? What what does that mean? Mm. Did God take him so he disappeared physically from the mm. earth? Mm. His family walked around trying to find him, and mm. no one could find him. No yes. trace of yes. Enoch. Yes. Or did Enoch die? Did Enoch die because God says that's it? I take you. You're dead. And then maybe there's an afterlife portion, right? But the whole bottom line is it says, heaven let me in. So let's start to at least, at least align the, the scripture that we just read to the subject matter, which is heaven let me in. Did he not go to heaven? Mm, that's a very good question. But the scripture says that God took him. Well, it doesn't necessarily say that he actually went there. It doesn't, right? You're right. I mean, if we if we even continue to read the entire chapter, and this is for those of you who are listening to this live or recorded, and you're following along with, with whether it's your printed or your digital KGV Bible, um, if you continue to read in, in the entire book of Genesis, mm -hmm. you will not find anything that says where exactly Enoch was taken. You would not, right? You would not find exactly where Enoch was taken. So Matthew is right. Like the question still is pressing: Where was he taken? Where? Albeit there are books and books and books. Oh, the yeah. Book of Enoch, Absolute, part absolutely. one, part two, part four, five, seven movies. There's all yeah, sorts. Yeah. I did a Google search on 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 Enoch. Yep. Right, because the theories out there, you know, millions in the millions. Where is this guy? What took place? And yeah. the prevailing thought is heaven. The prevailing thought is heaven, right? The, the assumption, the guesstimation is heaven. Why? Because God created the heavens. He dwelt there. And Enoch was taken. Hmm. Taken where? Was he put somewhere where, where he would be alone and God is not there? Was he placed somewhere where it's a special area? You know, I could throw on the table. Yeah. You know, the, the, the way that we see how the God of Israel works, the earth was created, but there was one special part of earth, the garden, and he had Adam and, and Eve dwelling there, but there was other parts of the earth, and, and when that was, was boshed, or Kai boshed, then they were sent out of the garden, right? Hmm. So now, <clears throat> if I was to take the same example, he could have went to heaven. Sure. He could have went there, yeah. there and been removed, right? Sure. Possibility. Should we should we conclude on this question now, or should we maybe pick it up a little bit later on? What do you think? Pick this pick up. It up. I think it's a running question. It, it is a, a running question. So again, send all your comments, send your beliefs, send a, anything in your books. If you if you're an author and you've written books or made DVDs on Enoch, let us know where you think Enoch is. We wait. The next scripture that we go into, and it's another one of these type of Enoch questions. Yep. It's uh, Second Kings, uh, the Book of Kings, the Second Book of Kings, Chapter Two, and it's one of those. It's one of our favorite stories around it here sure at the Israelite Nation Worldwide Ministries. It's, it's 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 wonderful, and there's so much to it. But we're going to extrapolate just you know the parts that are relevant to what we want to talk about today. So Second Kings, who who wants to pick it up? Second Kings, Chapter Two, or Du. In the first line. verse says, And it came to pass, when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind, that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. And Elijah said to Elisha, Terry so let's, here. So let's um, add, I'm going to steal some of your words and add some color to this. Let's right? So Elijah, yep. the man of God, can we say that? Yes. Safe yes. to say, Elijah, the man of see. God. Okay. He had a devout... Uh, disciple, let's call it, right? Yeah. And which was by the name of Elisha. And Elisha loved him and was obedient and really, really 
for lack of a better word, dug what Elijah was about. And as it says, the time, and these are two Israelites, by the way, right? These, these aren't strangers. These aren't other people, other nations. These are two people of the people of Israel, two people of the makings of God, I'll put it that way. And now Elijah now is going to depart, as it says, to be taken to where? It says, into heaven. Ah. <laughs> ah. Heaven let me in. Right? Okay. Don't let me in. Okay. Verse 2, And Elijah said unto Elisha, Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord hath sent me to Bethel. And Elisha said unto him, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they went down to Bethel. And the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha, and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he said, Yea, I know it. Hold your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Elisha, tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord hath sent me to Jericho. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they came to Jericho. So let me, so let's, <clears throat> the Lord sent him to Jericho. How? What was the form of the instruction? If you want to give an opinion, or if you have a scripture to back it, what was it? How was Elijah sent to Jericho? Very good question. Um, I mean, you're, you're asking some good questions today, man. You know What's what, going on? You know why I ask these questions? Because <laughs> when, you, when you set the framework, right? Yeah. One, a lot of people just skim over yeah. and they see certain things and they skip, they hop over it, right? So when I, for some strange yeah. reason, when I see these things appear, I, I, ask, I ask myself sure. how and, and the why, right? We see people who are prophets, thus saith the Lord. Yeah. Thus saith the Lord, go to Nineveh, right? Go to the people of whatever and tell them, thus saith the Lord. So we know that the Lord has said, thus saith the Lord, here's the prophet. Yep. Go say the message and then go back to where we, you know, whatever village or city you came from. We have a story here to where he's being sent to Jericho. Yep. He says that the time cometh where I'm going to be taken to heaven. Yep. Not, not like... Other prophets were, thus saith the Lord, go say what you say, and when you go back home, make sure you don't go the same way you came. Don't go back, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. This is, thus saith, or sorry, go to the people of Jericho, and when you're done, we're going to come get you and bring you yeah. to heaven? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I ask, I ask those questions. I don't know if everybody thinks this way. If you don't, this is you just... You think very deeply. Hey. <laughs> very, very deeply. I, I have to, right? It's like the KRS One song, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Very deeply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. KRS. You're giving so, away your age, by the way. Yeah, I am really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think uh, to your question in terms of communications, yeah. um, it varies, right? It varies in right. terms of the man of God that we have seen. We have seen some being spoken to out of a cloud, to God appeared out of a cloud, yes. open visions. Yes. We have seen dreams, oh, okay. communication via dreams. We have seen communication in open visions. Um, we've seen, we've heard and seen about the voice of God spoke to them, uh, mm -hmm. and they heard the voice of God, and they carried that message through. So, you know, there's, there's various methods, but someone like Elijah, who, who is still a mystery to most of us uh, in terms of... Uh, who he is, where he came from, and what his purpose is, um, you know, we could assume, again, yes. assumption is that that he would have probably had a direct communication oh, with yes. God. Um, I don't know. I, I wouldn't think this was him sleeping and, and he heard. Yeah. I would think that uh, based on the stories I've seen with Elijah, yeah. it's been very open communication with the Spirit. Oh, man. Right? Very, very open communication. <laughs> He prays right? and yeah. fire comes down. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like this is this is more than, you know, <laughs> he speaks and things happen. Yeah. Yeah. And he, mm. this is a confident guy. You know, as we're going to see, you know, um, the time is coming where I will be taken to heaven. Yeah. Who's, <laughs> what other man speaks yeah. like that? <laughs> it's true. Very That's good so point. True. I mean, um, very, very good point. So then you start to do classifications. Because I see where you're going here. Okay, I'm gonna, good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Velcro on. There you go. Okay? There you go. You caught. You, yeah, yeah. I, I caught. I caught that. Now. I, caught, I, caught, I caught that. I caught that. Right. All right. So, All right. so it's classification because when you say heaven, let me in. 
it's a generic statement. Yes. Everyone talks about heaven, 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 heaven. But then we looked at Enoch, and we looked at 365 years of him walking. 365 years. That's a very you know, long time. You, you, it's a very long time. long time. That's a lot of skin in the game, a lot of blood on the table, yeah, yeah. a lot of sacrifice. Yeah. 365 years of walking with God. Of, of, of showing good or bad or yes. true, whatever. Yes. Showing who you yes. are. Demonstration, okay. right? So, good. So, we get an example of how he was taken and probably why he was taken. Yeah. Then we go to Elijah. And we talk about, well, geez, you know, like you said, Kirk, uh, uh, the confidence of this man, he prays and brimstone and fire come down. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he goes and he brings up dead bodies. And yeah. this guy is just a, a, a walking superhero. Yeah. So if he's a walking superhero and that communication is so intense with the spirit, and then we see a world went into heaven, that's two guys that we can classify that they stand out from the six billion people on the oh, planet yes, right now. Sure. I mean, yeah. one guy, 365 day, years with God, another guy who is talking to God openly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's not me. No. That's not me. You know, like, like, <laughs> uh, so, so we got to start thinking. If there is a possibility yeah. of knocking heaven's door and being open, then, then we look at the classification of the men that potentially had that chance. And they they are not me. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's not they, me. They, you, you know, I mean, not you, me. You, you, right. <laughs> so so then you start to layer in the classification. Yeah. If there is a possibility of a man who can knock heaven and heaven open up and yeah. he can live, then let's start to let's start to to peel that back a little bit and see what is the criteria, how they live, what they did, what skin in the game, yeah. what blood on the table. And then we start to see these guys who are, I mean, th this is different. This is a different class of a man. Yeah. A different class it's of a, a man. And then you see how it, it becomes an insult. I mean, you started off with, with dogs. Cats and dogs. And guinea pigs. Yeah, and guinea pigs. pigs <laughs> yeah. Going hogs. Going, giving up Absolutely. the ghost. Yeah. And, and for some reason... They get to elevate. It's a disrespect. It's, it's huge it's, disrespect. What kind of? Yeah, that's disrespect. Huge. And, and I'm glad you mentioned that because 365 years of walking with God and all the other, from Genesis all the way through to Deuteronomy to all the books right down to the last book of the Old Testament. Last book of the Old Testament. You don't see any other uh, mention of someone being taken up other than the Elijah. Okay, so you see two mentions. Mm -hmm. yeah. Genesis all the way down to the last book of the Old Testament, we see two mentions of someone who world went up or being taken. Still and, and, ambiguous. And, and Still ambiguous. It's ambiguous. And okay? I, I wanted to yeah. add that because yeah. the first example yeah. does not say heaven. Doesn't. Still ambiguous. So, so mm. you know, in, 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 so we could safely assume there was millions of people. We could assume that, right? Safely assume that the population had to have been millions and millions of people all the way through the days of Abraham, right down to what is the last book of the Old Testament? Someone throw that for me. See, I'm not even. I mean, it should be Malachi. It's the last book of the prophets, yeah. Right. right? So, uh, bam. So we can say there's millions and millions and millions and millions of people that's lived till since then, right? But only two reference point. One says world went up to heaven, and one says taken. Well, what about all the others? What about all their, their goats, their cows that they had, <laughs> their sheep? All the mice. What their about rats, all the people that cows. died that were, were in the flood? Where did they, they all, so what happened? Well, yeah, what, you, you, you know, like, we, we, if, if, and this, this calls for a greater discussion because there would have been so many reference points in the scripture says, and such and such passed away Mm -hmm. and was taken up to heaven and such and such was so good that he was he he was in the arms of god in heaven yeah. and such and such was taken up by the wings of angels and was taken to heaven yeah. and you're, you're right I, I i you know maybe it's my ignorance and my lack of knowledge and i urge anyone out there to to, to email us to facebook us to to send us all the, the reference points of all the people that were taken to heaven clearly Defined that they were taken to heaven, and, and I would be happy to see that. 
But in my readings from Genesis to Revelation, I, I, you know, I've seen such and such passed away and he did which was right in the sight of God and slept with his fathers. Yes. Yeah. I see sleeping with the fathers. Yeah. But, you know, if, if I don't see the theme of, of going, to, going to heaven, I don't see that. I don't see no. an angels met him and took him or, or, or chariot came and took him to heaven. I've seen only two reference points. Yeah. One, very ambiguous. Yeah. Second one says whirlwind to heaven. We will deal with that as we go through. Deal with that, yeah. But all the other men of God and women of God and children and 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 and, and pets and and beasts and cattle, I have not seen any reference point. And 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 this is some people's got to think about. Then why? Well, yeah, really, Priestley, you're you're making a point here. Why don't we see when those records state that someone has passed on? that it doesn't give details to angels met him or he walked and he saw a white light or a bright light or he, yeah. wh why, why we don't get those details? Well, how come <laughs> not a single person came back and said, you know what, I seen such and such. Well, why? Came back, said he was in heaven. No. And the wings, you gotta see his wings. Yeah, why? See the, right? I'll tell you where there is an example though that we can we can go into. I hope so. There's a great example, yes. right? With the rich man Lazarus. Nice. Wonderful example, nice. right? Yes. It's giving you before life, yeah. after. And, yeah. And, and within that equation, there is no mention. Again, why? No why mention of heaven. heaven. But why? Well, anyway, I guess we're going to figure that out as we go through, right? I guess the scriptures will kind of probably help us along that line and answer some of these questions, right? They usually always Okay. Do. All, right. always, all you got to do is read. Okay. You know, right. you said, I, I watched the episode... Um, with um, ancestral worship, by the way. And um, there was a point that you had made mention that the majority of the people do not read the Bible. They don't. Right? Yeah. And, and we read. And any, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the viewership of this show, uh, we encourage you to read and follow on. We're going to force you to read because we're reading. We're showing you scriptures, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right? <clears throat> you read, and just like Priest Sandal said, why is it, and that's the question, that we, you know, to this point, what, how many thousands of years can we say this is? We, we to, from from Enoch, from Enoch to Elijah, can we safely say at least uh, a couple millennia? Can we say that one thousand, two thousand? Am I am I too much? Whatever the case may be, there's two mentions: one ambiguous, the other one saying talking about heaven. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's let's continue on. Yeah, you want me to finish the chapter? You oh, want? Yeah, you oh, want yeah. me? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. What verse did I leave off at? Um, four. Four. All right, we got to watch our time here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and Elijah said unto, e, unto him, Elisha, tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord hath sent me to Jericho. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they came to Jericho. And the sons of the prophets that were at Jericho came to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he answered, Yeah, I know it. Hold your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Tarry, I pray thee, here. For the Lord hath sent me to Jordan. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And they too went on. And fifty men of the sons of the prophets went, and stood to view afar off. And they stood by Jordan. And Elijah took his mantle, wrapped it together, smote the waters, you and know, they were divided. I know we're, we, we're out of time almost. But <laughs> what manner of man... <laughs> Would you, you know, we, we've gone and scoped out baptism sites. Yep. Right? We've gone and we've looked at bodies of water to see what we could do if it's conducive. And I've never seen you take your mantle off. Let's do this. Okay? No, 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 no let, let's do this. Let's put a challenge out there. The mantle to water challenge. Any, no, 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 no. Honestly. Let's put, yeah, Matthew, seriously. Let's put that challenge out there. The, the mantle to water dividing challenge. $10,000 Put more than that. Oh, seriously, put more than that. I'm putting more than that. And this is, this is to anyone in, in the known world because, as you know, the Internet, we, can, we broadcast. It can end up north, south, west, and east, and all different geos everywhere there is. Um, I would love to see this being done live, that someone will take a mantle, and whatever lake or river that you live nearby, go and hit that river or lake nearby 
and see if it can open up wide on two pillars <laughs> and you can walk through on dry ground. And then, <laughs> then you start to understand what I mean by the classification. Yeah. Because mm. you, you know, you, it's, it's, these things can't be done. No, only no, no. certain men could do these things. I, I'll, I'll tell you. you I'll, I mean, I'll tell you something. The last yeah. time that it was done, right? The last time it was done, it was probably. Was there another heightened time in the spirituality yeah. of the Israelite nation? Pillar by day and fire by night, and, and hold your hands up and, jeez, no. the spirit of right there. You know what I mean? In the season of burning bush, in the season of the law coming down, the mountain, in that season, that height. <laughs> Take Moses to this in this discussion, a classification again, yeah. as we start doing comparables between, we compare man to man, right? Moses uh, spoke to God face to face. Mm -hmm. Moses went up on a mountaintop. Finger of God wrote on a tablet that Moses carried. Moses touched the grooves of, yeah. of that. Yeah. He touched the finger. Yeah. His finger meant God's finger impression. I mean, and then the scripture says, no man knows where he was buried. Okay? So you start classifying the men. I'm no Moses. You know, I've never heard God spoken to me. No angel has ever met me and I've had dinner with angels. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've, never, never, I've, I've, I've never killed a calf yeah. for two men. <laughs> you, <laughs> never. You, you know, so it is, it is an insult. You're right. It, it is a great insult when you start to put pigs and, and goats and sheep in that classification to say they're also in heaven. It is when your your pet parrot dies that you, people do little funerals. And, and, and I mean no disrespect. I mean no disrespect so because true. you know I had gerbils that died and I cried. And back in the day, my mom said bury them, and, and you know I cried and everything like that. So I mean no disrespect. People have pets and they're close to their pets. But what we're talking about is heaven let me in. Yeah. That, mm. that, that so you know no disrespect is intended. Uh, but people parrots die. And, and and rightfully so, because parents sometimes live like 30, 40 years, yeah, man. Yeah. You know, they grow with the family. And then then uh, people say, well, the parent's going to be in heaven with grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> grandpa. You know, this is where we would roll a commercial break, because the parent will be in heaven with grandpa, you know? And as we laugh and we chuckle, and, and some of you may be chuckling. Some are not. Oh, they're they're very upset. But remove emotions from this, okay? And that's the thing that we do here is we're going to be reading scriptures, and and we may have to skip over some of the uh, the scriptures you have here, Priest Kirk, yeah. and get to some of the concluding scriptures here, so we can wrap this Absolutely. up. And as I always say, we'll wrap it up. We'll even put a a little tie on it for you, right? Yeah. We'll nicely gift wrap it for you. Yeah. But um, you, you know. I, it, it's all about understanding what level of man or woman is being spoken of. And this is not, this is not your average guy. Yeah, no, no, no. Right? Or else we would have seen this throughout all the chapters and books of the Bible. Yeah. Or even today we would have seen the yeah. same thing happening. Yeah. We don't. No. We don't see these things happening today. This was done once and passed on to Elisha. Yeah. And that's the end of it, my end friend. Of it. And so much so that we could have just talked about Elijah. Tonight. Yeah, we could have. So much so that he had to return. That's big. That's big. <laughs> he had to return. That's big. What manner of man is that? Right? What type of yeah. man is that? Let's finish off the scripture here. What verse did I leave off there? Um, you left from verse 8. Verse, verse nine. 8. Yeah. And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together. Remember the challenge, okay? <laughs> and smote the waters, and they were divided hither and thither, so that they too went over on dry ground, and it came to pass, when they were gone over, that Elijah said to Elisha, ask what I shall do for thee, before I am taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. And he said, thou hast asked a hard thing, nevertheless, if thou See me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee, but if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that behold, 
there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder. And Elisha went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And Elisha saw it and cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. And he took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. That's it. We can, you know, what a done. great, great Stop story, there. man. It's a fascinating story <laughs> when, you know, and again, you, you get, so now we, we, get, we get some depth. We get details into what's happening. We get chariots. We get horses. We get horsemen. We get whirlwind. We get heaven. All here in black and white. Water but, splitting up. Yeah, you, you know, but splitting. we, you know, every there's so many people that passed from Elijah days yeah. forward and pre Elijah. We don't get those details. Yeah, yeah. So it's a unique thing. It's yeah. got to be unique if if we go all the way down and we're not seeing that. So is that a common thing that people are world went up to heaven? No, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's a not common. common. Matter, matter of fact, the it's never seen again. It's never seen within the scriptures again. The only time is when you're dealing with Christ, right? And that's a whole nother again, apple on the man, tree. What manner of man? Uh, again, what thing. manner of man? Right. So, so you you. It's all about classifying the type of person that we see these things being done to. But it's not the great majority. Mm. It's not the vast majority. It's not the common folks. It isn't. It isn't the common folks that we see in the scriptures from Genesis to Revelations being met with chariots, fiery chariots and yeah. fiery, fiery horse riders on fiery horses being taken up in the sky. Unheard of. And we, not, not repeated unheard of and the man had to come back and 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 we talk about christ it was he who had to come back to lay the groundwork yeah. for the you know so what manner of man yep this man did however only god can do what see this creates a whole different layer here that we may have to we can do part two three four five six we can probably do this lesson for the rest of the year that's how deep we go here yeah, yeah. at like Nation Worldwide Ministries. But for the sakes of today, That's right? Fact. Yeah, it is. That's for the fact. sakes of today, then we also look at, is anything impossible for God? Is it? The answer is no. Nothing is impossible for God. God can, if he wanted to, do transform you so you can go to a certain level of heaven. He can. He's God. He created that, like you said, you established who God was and is. He fashioned the heavens. He fashioned the earth. Mm -hmm. He has complete authority yeah. over anything yeah. that is heavens and the earth. Yeah. Okay? So he can, if he so want to, yeah. elevate a man to whatever he wants to elevate a man to. There's nothing impossible with he that. He opens that gate. He yeah. shuts yeah. the gate. It's, it's, there's nothing the impossible to that. He holds the key. Yeah. It's him. Yes. So, <laughs> you know, we can debate whether or not it, it really is heaven. We can debate whether or not it isn't. The end of the day, only God can make that choice. Yes. And God can. And God can. And he can. Yeah. Without, and with, no question, he can yeah, do that. He can do that. Let's go to one last one of these type of scriptures. Yep. Then we'll just tie it up with a bow after that. Okay. Said, right? Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 12. <clears throat> I mean, we got some New Testament happening here. New Testament. Very, we very, very around. good. Well, rounded to 66 books are nice. ours. We, we, very, very right? nice. It is our forefathers who wrote them. It's, it's about us. It's our story. We don't, we're not partial. Yeah. We, can, we can hop wherever we need to hop to. Right? And we, spirit of truth and understanding guiding us, let's do what we got to do. So verses 1 to 4, I'll read it. And 2 Corinthians. It is not expedient for me, doubtless, to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. I knew a man in Christ. Now this is Paul again. And one day we're going to get to doing that Paul. We're going to do a, a Paul discussion oh, yeah, on I the virtual so. Bible. And I really hope so. Right? Change things for, for, yeah, for people. It's a right? game changer. It's right? a game changer yeah. as it is. But I knew a man in Christ about 14 years ago. 
Whether in the body, I cannot tell. For example, I can't. I know a man. I know a man. <laughs> but, but it, 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 you know, it's, it's you, our language. It's, we understand that you, language. You see, you know, we uh, understand that language. I threw that to you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I mean, I threw that to you. And again. I love that because you know it, I mean? it, it is our language. Um, I would say the same. You would say the same. Yeah. Matthew would say the same. Yes. Yeah. You know, we've had we've mm -hmm. had those type discussions. Mm -hmm. it, it's the same thing, right? Because it just makes sense. You start off, and people, you know, who who who, who write these books about Enoch and, and and different heavens and stuff like that, right? Well, this is a beautiful scripture. Man. It's it's wonderful. I mean, I'm, and this is this <laughs> Matthew. This is the point where we kind of sit back and watch the magic happen. Oh yes. You know, with the scriptures actually, Matthew lift off of the page yeah it takes a bodily shape yeah and it walks out and it touches everyone yeah. that's out there yeah. it touches you me yeah. this is when the scripture actually walks in yeah. and takes on life yeah. dude yeah. yeah and it's true and if you could experience that you know you got half you've went half the way if yeah you could experience that you've gone half oh yeah yeah the way. yeah absolutely so let me so i knew a man in christ about 14 years ago uh whether in the body i cannot tell or whether out of the body, I cannot tell. God knoweth. Such an one caught up to the third heaven. Beautiful. And I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. God knoweth. How that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words which it is not lawful for a man to utter. So let me, that's what we're reading with that. We can continue. We're going to read with that. Let me rest that on the table, right? Let's rest that on the table, and let's. What is that saying there? What 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 is happening there? Break that down, because there are books upon books about this little piece, Second Corinthians twelve one to four, about third heaven and fourth heaven and paradise, and the man and what his name is and so on and so forth and etc. Break it down. People's got a lot of energy and time on their hands, right? So that's why you get these books and DVDs and, 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 and comic books and different things like that on, on scripture that are pretty well plain and simple. Yeah. Um, it tells you that, that as a man, the things that happened back in those days 14 years ago was beyond, beyond flesh, beyond flesh and bones. It tells you that, you know, my encounter, whether, whether I, I can't even tell you accurately what I saw and what happened, but I know that I'm talking about paradise. Yeah. I, I'm mentioning a third heaven and I'm mentioning a paradise. Yeah. So I understand the paradise thing very clearly because clearly. We, we have read that. We have, we've got an account of those things. Uh, Lazarus, you mentioned yeah. before, and the yeah. rich man. Yeah. We understand when Jesus was also on yes. the cross that one of the guys beside him who said, hey man, I know I'm wrong. I know the other guy is wrong, but you, my friend, did nothing to deserve this. And Jesus said, you know what, dude? I appreciate that. No, I, you know, that I, I feel that. I appreciate that. Today you would be with me. Where? In paradise. You know, I mean, again, we didn't see that whole heaven discussion. And then, then, then here's Paul saying, you know what? Honestly, God knoweth, man. I don't, I don't even, I can't even with certainty tell you what took place and what happened, but... There is there is a third heaven. There, yeah. he, he, we uh, some unspeakable things. Yeah. <laughs> and, hey, and the third heaven, it's called paradise, right? But a man did he he caught up there. It's like it's actually, somehow this man fourteen somehow he got up and he got caught up in this third heaven thing, and whether it was a dream, if it was a vision, if he you know closed his eyes and winked and got there and winked and came back. I don't know what it is. I can't tell you what it is. God can tell you what that is. Mm -hmm. Right? So now, right before we get to the final scripture. Well, what will be the final scripture? The final scripture is going to be John. It's got to be John. It's going to be John? It's got to be John chapter 3. Okay. Right? Right before we get to John chapter 3, because it's kind of going to uh, close off and what, you know, end the discussion. It's going to tell us exactly what we need to know. Yeah. But... This man who Paul who knew 14 years prior to that time period, again, it did not say that the man went into heaven, the heavens of heavens, right? It spoke about a third heaven, 
And as Priest Sandal said, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Um, but however, this particular place he went to, the third heaven, had a title which was called Paradise. And that same Paradise, Jesus told the man to his right or left, whichever one it was, today we're going to be there today, right? Same place, uh, the, the, the poor man, Lazarus, the same place the angels came and got him, right? Lazarus died, sorry, the rich man died and they buried him. Lazarus died and the angels came and took him to Abraham's bosom. Right? All right. John chapter 3. Anybody pick that up? And let's put the, the close into this. Verses 3 to 13. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith, saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I have said unto thee, You must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? And Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel, and knowest not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, We speak that we do know, and testify we have seen, and you receive not our witness. If I told you earthly things, you believe not, and you believe not. How shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things? And here comes, ladies and gentlemen, as the drum as the the, the drum you know, roll, as the text please. lifts off the Bible and hop out and have a seat and, right and, beside and us. sit beside you, even embrace you and hug you and kiss you on the cheeks. Here's what it says to you, in verse thirteen, and no man, no man hath ascended up to heaven. Has ascended up to heaven. But he that which came down from heaven. But he that came down. Even the Son of Man which is in heaven. So can we can we break that down to simple? Because some people don't understand the Shakespearean type uh, okay. English, right? Okay. I believe it's saying here, yeah. basically. Yeah, that, please um, tell me, Matthew. You know, it's saying here that, you know, if you didn't come from there, how then can you go? Come there? from there where? Heaven. So if you did not come from heaven, you cannot go no, back to heaven. No. So no man hath gone into heaven. No. Unless the man himself ah. was created in heaven and came down from yes. heaven. Wow. Well, you know, this could be sad for me too because, to be honest with you, I wasn't created in heaven, Matthew. No. Neither was Nobody I. here. No one. Matter of fact, <laughs> I've never seen a person. That was created. But then we got we got to be sensitive to this discussion, because then what happens to me and where do I go? There's heaven, there's hell, according to what I was taught in 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 in, uh, in, in Sunday school, and according to what I see on the A and E and all the documentaries that come out, uh, heaven or hell. And if the scripture by the mouth of Jesus the Christ says, no man. He's not even he's not even saying, well, some and some have and some others. No man had ascended into heaven unless that man was created from heaven, came down from heaven, then he could only go back up to heaven. But if you weren't created or born or made in heaven, you are flesh, you go where flesh goes. Mm -hmm. That's your flesh. Yeah. Your flesh. Flesh, flesh. Yeah. Earth, at, you know, yes. you go back to right so so that tells me then that okay fine i'm not going to argue with jesus the christ i'm not going to argue with how, that. how can you yeah, yeah, I, I shouldn't i should <laughs> you know what he said to nicodemus yeah. aren't you a master yeah of israel like in other words this these abc yeah. fundamentals you should know them you don't know this yeah. no man unless you came yeah. down here you don't go from here up yeah you were here first. Yeah. And, and, and you, you want to know something? And when you even think about that, again, as I get deeper, <clears throat> obviously, 
the creation, the beginning would have been here first. Of course. Of course. You, see, you understand what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Absolutely. So after this and the furnishings thereof is created, then down here, heaven six, five, four, three, two, one, earth. Right? Then you have more rooms and chambers to travel into. So you go down, you can go back from whence you came. You were created after this, and this is heaven, top heaven, and you're created down here with dust and dirt and stone. That's a long, you don't. There's a threshold for man. <laughs> There's a certain threshold that a man who is earthly cannot yeah. pass. Yes. And this is what Jesus is trying to tell Nicodemus, which Nicodemus should have known. There is a certain threshold to what a physical man who is born of a woman cannot pass. Right. You can't go into the bedroom of God. You cannot go into the bedroom of God. You and I, as, as and we always say this here, as as. Kirk, myself, Matthew, we can't just jump on a plane and, and pass through the gates of the White House and go into Obama's and, and, and Michelle's living room yeah. and sit down at their table yeah. and no go way. in your fridge yeah. and you you pass me a juice and, no and we start to cook in their kitchen. No it doesn't happen. No with, earthly, with earthly levels, that cannot happen. How much so you believe that your pet dog and cats and, and, and parrots are all making its way into God's bedroom? And if we take the population of the earth from the time of Adam all the way through, yeah. then that's a real busy place if everyone by default is making their way into God's bedroom. Oh, it's not man. special. That can't be special. Well, special. Why, why would that be special? It's not special? That's by default then, according to the teachings of those outside. It's by default. Yeah. But it isn't. According to Jesus the Christ in this chapter says, no man oh, hath ascended up into heaven. You can't. You cannot. I want to answer your question, yeah, though. Yeah. I know that we said that was the last Yeah, that's yeah, fine. But I want to answer your question. Well, yeah, what happens to a guy like me or, or the possibility? Yeah. What happens to me, and this is the question I'm yeah. going to give to you, yeah. right? Because yeah. now I know that I'm, I'm actually born of a woman. I'm earthly. Yeah. I'm flesh. Yeah. So I've just been told by Jesus the Christ that no man can unless he was created here in heaven yeah. come down and can go up. No. So now i gotta, I, I got to ask you. Then what happened? What's the what's my possibilities? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the first the first lie, okay, is that there's two places. Okay. Heaven, hell. Okay. Right. That is not correct. Okay. There is more than heaven, and there is more than hell. Okay. Now, without going deeply, I'm just going to read. I'm not going to give my opinion. I'm just going to lay it, and, and I believe that we would end it off there until next week. Revelation chapter 21 and it reads and it's very clear and very simple it says from 1 to 3 and I saw a new heaven and, an, and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea and I John saw the holy city new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their, from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away. Okay. Wow. That is so we didn't have to we didn't have to make things up here today. Um we read the Bible, we read the scriptures, we we spoke about facts. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy you gave me some comfort knowing that there's a possibility. Mm -hmm. There is a possibility that there is a place prepared for someone like me. Mm -hmm. And there's a possibility that I can get there. Mm -hmm. But this place is coming down from heaven, mm -hmm. according to John the Revelator. Mm -hmm. It's coming down out of heaven yes. and landing back down here on earth, earth, prepared for people like you and I who may have the chance of entering possibly, those gates. Possibly. 
I like that. That's it. I like that. I really, really like that. Which is neither heaven or hell. It isn't. Neither. It isn't. Right. I mean, I, 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 again, you know, in, in terms of me understanding how how these things are pieced together, and you say, you know, heaven let me in, everyone would. It's great. It's a great. It's a great fantasy to to imagine yourself being taken up with angels' wings and and being led into to heaven and it's all white all over the place and you meet you meet God who has gray hair and gray beard and he kisses you hugs you and you you see you see babies flying around with wings and and you you see these it's 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 oh, fantasy man. novel yes, Tupac it, it, and Biggie uh, yeah, Biggie, Biggie and Tupac, Tupac right? right there Frank Sinatra yeah yeah yeah, up there. yeah, yeah right you, you know what I mean it's great it's great to put that in the minds of children uh, as they grow up, they they have that that that's where they're going because it gives them some kind of comfort and motivation. But it is a brainwash. It it really is a brainwash. It really is misleading. It really is deceiving because when you start to read the Bible, um, you realize that there is no account of anyone accepting that one scripture or two most that some person was taken there or went up into a cloud or. There's only two or three people you see that with. And then the vast majority of those who walk with God like Enoch did, the vast majority that walk with God, go through the fire, go through the water, and succeed and pass the finish line walking with God. John the Revelator says, well, I see what was prepared for them. It was a new Jerusalem that was prepared coming down. It's coming down. It's floating down, and it lands on earth. And this is the city, the holy city that God has prepared for those who have graduated. Right? So I'm happy. I'm comforted that there is a possibility for me to be there. Um, and then we, we, we hear about the lake, the fire, and the brimstone for those who are non-believers. Mm -hmm. So there is a hell. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There is. And there is heavens. Yes. Uh, you know, and, and this paradise that we all look forward to, well, we as in the Israelite Nation Worldwide Ministries, and those of you who, who really have the understanding to understand, you know, the layers and what's the functions and places and things that are out there, you understand that we, the, the aim is for paradise. The aim is for the New Jerusalem Paradise on Earth, right? At, at best. Yeah. Nothing more than that. You know, right before we check out, yeah. Elijah. Elijah. Yeah. So, you know, we leave this with the audience. Elijah came and, and chariots came and took him. Yep. Right? And took him to heaven. Let's leave it with the audience. Let's leave it with the audience. we don't find him with a mother or father. No scripture tells you how he was born, who his mother, who his father was. The scripture just shows him appearing. Elijah, Elijah the Tishbite. The Tishbite. That's all we know. That's the it. The appearance. He, was a, he, he appeared on the scene yeah. as Elijah the yeah. Tishbite. So we leave that with you, you know, and, and, and I leave died. also the challenge.